Hi, this is Mary Jo Webster. So this is video two in a series on uh, refreshing basic spreadsheet concepts. So we are in day one intermediate spreadsheet, data, uh, Google Sheets, and we're going to start with the, the worksheet called Cause of Death. So this is most common causes of death in Minnesota by year. Uh, obtained it from the Minnesota Department of Health. And you can see we have 20 or so causes of death and then the number of people who died from that each year between uh, 2000 and 2018. Uh, so this has some limit, you know, this is limited in what we can do with it because it is summarized data. Um, we do not have all causes of death, so we can't add up these values and say this is the total total people who died in Minnesota each year. That is not um, possible, and we also do not have a total anywhere. Uh, if we wanted to say what percentage of people died from cancer in Minnesota each year, we would need to go get that total from somewhere to have it. So we have some limitations, but let's see what we can do with it first. Um, we can do some sorting practicing. Let's start with um, uh, what was the most common cause of death in um, 2000 and sort our list and you might be suspicious here I think it is already sorted but we'll try it anyways so remember as we said in the last video <clears throat> you need to highlight your island so <clears throat> we need to put our cursor somewhere in our island and then do control A on a Windows machine command A on a Mac and make sure that you're highlighting only your island and none of the other things on your sheet. And then go to the data menu, so choose sort range, advanced range sorting options. Say my data has a header row. And then we can, if we, if we want to sort by the most common cause of death in the year 2000, those values are in the column called 2000. And then we would make it Z to A and say sort. It moved a couple things, but not much. Um, we could, uh, and now let's say what's the most common cause is in 2018. Uh, it's too bad I don't have the year 2020 on here. We definitely, I think we'd see a different thing at the top. Um, uh, sort range, advanced range sorting options again. Data has header row. And now let's go down and find 2018 and sort Z to A, let's say sort. We do get a different cause of death in 2018, just an other, not by much, but there's an other. This would be something to ask about, obviously. What is other? Um, maybe this is, is this everybody else? I don't think it is, but um, you should ask of what that is. And then um, the other thing we can do is do some filtering in here. So let's say we want to look at suicide, for example. Um, we can make these other things kind of go in hiding on us by using filters, and we can get winnow it down to just this one row to look at. Um, this is useful when you're getting to know your data, especially. So um, just like with sorting, you want to make sure your cursor is somewhere in your island. Go to the data menu and say, create a filter. There is also a filter button up on your menu that you can uh, toggle on and off. Right now, if I hover over it, it says remove filter, but then I can create a filter. We'll turn it back on. And you'll see that at the top of each of your columns, there's a little pyramid-like image. Uh, and if you hover over it, it will give you lots of sorting options. One of the things it will do is down here, it's going to give you one instance of each thing that is in that column. So if you had a more detailed data set uh, of all the people who died from cancer or um, Alzheimer's disease or whatever, and there was a column that said cause of death, it would only show you that thing once, even though it's repeated over and over and over in your data. So a filter is a little more useful when you have lots of values, but it can also do some simple things. You also have these filter by condition and filter by values options. <coughs> so the filter by condition could be where you could say um, filters includes this or that, or is with numeric columns is greater than or less than, or 
between these two values. Um, so let's let's start by um, if we want to find the suicide ones. So we're on cause of death because that's the column where the word suicide is going to show up. Uh, one, th if you want to do the filter by values, the simplest way is to clear all these check marks first. So you push this clear button, and all these check marks down in this list go away. And so essentially nothing is checked right now. And then you come down to suicide and click next to it so it gets that check marks on it. You have, and you do have to click to the left. And then you say OK. And now you'll see that this image here on your column has changed. It's showing that it's filtered. You can also see the, num the row numbers on your sheet have changed. The, all the rows between um, are hiding. And now we can just see that suicide row. So now to, to undo that, we can go back to this button on our cause of death column. And you can say, select all, and say OK. And then that will turn that back on. Now let's go into the 2,000 column. And let's look for all those with 1,000 or more people. We can filter it down to just those. So we can say, filter by condition. When you pop that open, you get um, you, you still get that filter by values down here, but this is a little harder to manage. Right here where it says none, if you click on that, you get a bunch of options. And this is uh, Boolean logic. And it's uh, we use this in Google and when we're ser searching for things and whatnot. So if you have a text column, you've got some options for that. Contains, does not contain, starts with, ends with, et cetera. Uh, date, some date options. And then you have a bunch of numeric options down here, which is what we want for this. If we want to say all the causes of death where there's 1,000 or more people who died that year. So then we want um, greater than or equal to, and we could put in 1,000. And we should be able to say, OK. And there, now it's only giving those ones with 1,000 or more people. So again, this is a way to kind of uh, explore your data and see different things and hide the things that are kind of getting in your way. So I'm going to turn this off. Um, you can, um, there's a couple different ways. If, you, if you're done with filtering, you can just go up here and say remove filter. If you want to keep your filters turned on and you just want to clear this one in the column, you can just empty out your values and say OK, or flip that back to none, and it'll, it will flip it all back for you. Um, let's let's do one more thing that you haven't done yet one thing we you know we did this in the previous video is calculate a percent change which of these um, had the greatest increase over all these years we could we could do that but for time I'm gonna skip that um, let's look at making a little chart of one of these and I would like to chart suicide so maybe we go back and turn that filter on just to um, make things a little easier for ourselves. Um, we can clear this and go find. You could also type in here suicide and then make sure you get it checked to the left. Say OK. Um, we can make our chart right in here. Or we could highlight this and copy it to a new sheet. I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do, highlight and copy. Notice I used my arrow tool to highlight. I'm going to go down to the lower left of my sheets and push Add Sheet and add a new sheet. And we'll say suicide deaths. Um, maybe I should even say in Minnesota, to be clear. OK, so we're going to make a chart. So we're going to highlight just the values that we want to chart, so just those, the number of deaths. And having this be a wide table makes this a little harder to highlight, but it'll work. And we'll go to Insert Menu and choose Chart. And it's going to default probably to a line chart. But it's added a chart editor over on the right. So we can choose what we want. Uh, line chart looks kind of nice. Bar chart, column chart also looks nice, area chart, uh, whatever you'd like to do. Um, 
it gives you a bunch of options down here. Right now, you can see that the it's saying the data range is B4 to T4, which is correct. And then um, uh, we can add the x-axis by, um, so those labels down there, those years. We can add that, click on add x-axis, and then you see select data range. You can click on that, and it'll let you um, choose those values where we have the year. And those are actually, um, it's B3 to T3. So um, we can put in there B3 to T3 and say, OK. And now it's putting the years in. And you can see it's skipping a lot of years because this is a, a long stretch of time. Um, there's ways you can you can muck with that to get it to show more, but that's the basics. Um, and the ax if you click on if we click on it here, let's click on the this new axis that got put down here. Then you can start to change things with the fonts. You can um, uh, you can slant the labels. You can at a de some degree. Um, and oh, I don't want log scale. Sorry, I accidentally click that. But there might be some things you can change here on that horizontal axis. And then you also have the vertical axis here. You can have the minimum values and the maximum values. You always want to make sure your y-axis starts with 0, that it's 0 based. So if it's not, here's where you can put 0, and you can put a max value, or you can leave um, it blank so that it goes as high as it needs to go. But we could, we could also make this 1,000 to make it go up a little bit. We probably don't need that. Maybe we want 850 just to have some breathing room at the top. And then um, we have legend options, chart and axis titles. So right now the, the title is just suicide. Um, so we could say suicide deaths in Minnesota. Um, and now we have a better title up there. There's a lot more you could do in here, but that's the basics. And generally, in a spreadsheet, you, you're not going to make something for publication. You're probably just going to make it for uh, your own visual purposes to see. You know, And we could see visually much easier than we could um, in the numbers. We could see that increase in the suicide deaths very nicely here with a chart.